Hello, and welcome to the Siena College Center for Academic Community Engagement, BWeber's Orientation. During this orientation, you'll be introduced to BWeber's, which is the ACE hour log system where you will log and track the hours that you do with your ACE program. So to start, we're going to bring you to the website. Um, it is siena.bwebers.org, B-W-B-R-S. Once you're at the site, you're going to log in with your Sienna email address. And your password is going to be your last name, all lowercase. So once you log in, you will be on the um, B. Weber's homepage. Here you will see um, your, your personal information up in the top left hand corner. Um, you'll see a menu on the left that will help you navigate to the different parts of the site. And you'll see um, right on the homepage some updates, news, meetings, resources, and, and opportunities tabs um, that are populated by the National Bonner Foundation. So um, there's updates about the system or, um, you know, things within the network that you might be interested in some news, again, within the network, some opportunities, um, information about some of the conferences and meetings that the Bonner Foundation hosts, resources, so trainings or, um, you know, readings and things that you might want to participate in, webinars, and lastly, opportunities. Um, these are places where they put internships, job opportunities across the network that you may be interested in. Um, so this is a great place to come and look for some helpful information um, and definitely a great place to look as you're thinking about internships and jobs. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll also see some messages about some recent things happening um, for you within the system. And on the right-hand side, under my status, you'll see how many hours you have logged as student entered um, and how many hours are approved by your school. Um, and we'll get into school approvals in a little bit with with our log signatures. Um, and so that breaks it down by each semester. So for the semester, um, we have a 150 hour minimum. So you'll see the um, number of hours you've logged for the semester and how close you are to meeting that um, minimum hour log. Once you've logged in um, for the first time to be Webers, you're going to go over to the student profile tab. So on the left student menu, navigate to that tab. You're going to be brought to the general student information page. Here you should see your first name, your last name, and your email. Um, you'll also see your password. So the first time you log in, you should add any information about your middle initial, a nickname, scroll down and add your date of birth, your student ID number, so your, your Sienna 901, fill out information about your gender, race, voter registration, marital status, um, and for your education, you're going to choose um, what level you are, what your expected graduation year is, and any majors, minors, or certificates that you may have. Um, you don't need to add in anything for recognition, um, and then you're going to make sure that you hit save so that all the information is saved in the system. Um, and then you can go up to the contact tab and here you're going to put in um, for your current address, you're going to put the home address you go to on school breaks, um, your phone number, your cell phone so that we can have this if we need to reach you. And then you're also going to fill in the emergency contact information. So filling in someone, their name, contact information, and relationship um, in case we need to reach out to anyone. So once you're done with that page, you're going to hit save. Every time that you finish something in BWebers, you need to make sure you hit save so the system um, can have that saved in it. It doesn't do that automatically. Um, and then you're all set with updating your student profile. So this should be completed at the beginning of each new academic year. Um, so we will remind you to go in and update this, but this is your student profile page. Um, and if you ever need to update anything, 
this is where you're going to go to change your email, password, etc.